Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. One of my students, who is actually pretty good, he asked a question a few days ago, or one day ago. He said, I keep on getting puzzles wrong. Does anyone have any advice? And he's not talking about like one of checkmate puzzles. He's talking about puzzles where you actually have to think. So <clears throat> today I'm going to spend a couple of minutes talking about puzzles and how to think. And um, the reason we're doing this is not just to get better at puzzles, but to get better in real games. Because whenever it's your move, you should always consider forcing moves, checks, captures, and threats. And we're going to switch to my other account and we'll do some puzzle stream. Because I don't like puzzles like survival and chess.com because the first 10 puzzles are just one move checkmates and free stuff and such. <clears throat> so We'll do a puzzle streak. Um, I'm going to miss this on purpose to get back to zero, so let me do this. And um, the best way for you to uh, use this video is pause before um, I give you the solution for a puzzle and try to solve it yourself. And remember, always look for forcing moves, checks, captures, and threats. Okay, so the first one is easy. It's a skewer tactic. The king and the bishop are on the same line, so we move the rook, and we win the bishop. And the bishop falls. Okay, puzzle number two. Uh, this one is a discovery. Notice the queens are on the same line, so when we move the bishop, our queen attacks this queen. So, here, queen takes queen. Okay, puzzle number three. This is also a discovery. When we move the knight here, we reveal the rook, and the knight checks, so the rook will take. And we take. Okay, this one is removing a defender tactic. The knight defends the queen, so we take the knight with check, and then we take the queen next. It's important to know that this is a check, which means black does not have time to take our queen. So, okay, and... Obviously, we take this bishop. Okay, so obviously we have to take first. And now this is simply a pawn race. We just run the pawn. And we run the pawn. Okay, that was easy. Um, uh, this one is a fork. Again, looking for checks, we go here, which attacks the king and the knight. And he could, of course, block with the knight. But then there is a free bishop behind that knight. Okay, so he blocks with the queen, but now that this is a free knight, so we take... Okay, problem number seven. Um, a couple of things going on here. Um, we don't have any good checks. Um, here you just have to carry out this forcing sequence. You take the, knight, the rook, takes your queen, you take his queen, he takes your rook, and then you pick up this guy. So sometimes you have to thin several moves ahead. So we take, we take, we take. Okay, <clears throat> this one. Um, so let's think. So if we start with a check, and the king goes here, and then we continue with this check, the king has two moves. The king can go here, or the king can go there. Um, actually, we can't start with this because there is a bishop. Okay, so let me let me think about this actually because I don't want to rush. Because this just doesn't work. Um, so if we check. Huh. What am I missing? What am I missing? Hmm. Huh. 
Okay. Hmm. Ah, mine is still good. Wow, so bad. So we check here, king here, knight forks the the king in the rook. After the king moves here to attack our rook, we take the hand. Um, I looked at this check and I forgot about this one. Um, that's why doing puzzles at 11 o'clock at night is maybe not the best way to do chess. Okay. So, and we get the rook. Okay. So, um, this one, we start with a check. He has to block with a queen. And then we use removing the defender tactic. We check with a bishop, which forces the king away. And then we take the queen. So, we do this, do this, and we take. Okay. So, um, what's going on here? Um, we start with a check. Um, again, always look for checks. The king has two moves. After the king moves, we can play rook here, check, and he will have to give up his queen. So check, <clears throat> and we win the queen. Okay. Again, always look for checks and think several moves ahead. Um, looking for checks, again, we check here. He has one legal move. <clears throat> and then when we check here, it's actually a checkmate. So check, check. Okay. Um, this is a useful checkmating pattern to remember. Um, we give up our rook for the pawn because it also removes the defender. The king defends the rook. So when we do this, he takes, we take. But it's also important to note that the king is going to cut off on the edge and then our second rook will follow the first rook. So first we do this. <clears throat> we take, okay. Um, so it seems the best way to play is to take the rook because then we can take the bishop later. And now we take the bishop. Okay. So it seems we're just going to queen. But I mean, we have to start with this. And we have to continue with this. <clears throat> and now the question is, where do we go? And this seems like the best spot because it covers the queen square. If you go here, he can go back. And yes, you can take the knight, but he takes your pawn. You're not going to checkmate with just the knight. Okay. Uh, this is a pin problem. <clears throat> the pawn is pinned to the queen. So when we take the bishop, he has to take back, and we take. It's important to note that the black queen has no checks. Like, for example, <clears throat> if these two pawns were gone, this would actually be a terrible move, because then black would check and take our queen, because the pin would be gone, and we take. Okay, I'll do a few more. Um... This seems strangely simple. We trade queens first and then we win a rook. Obviously, we cannot take the rook right away because our queen is attacked. And we just take the rook. Hmm. Okay. Um. <clears throat> um so the two forcing moves to consider are rook takes rook and bishop takes knight. Uh, this one seems slightly better, because if he takes us back, we get the second rook. If he doesn't take us back, we get the bishop. And, okay, obviously we don't take here, we take the rook instead. Because if we take here, he will take our rook. <clears throat> okay. Um, looking at the configuration of pieces, it seems somewhere there will be a fork. And logically enough, when we play here, White King has two squares. Uh, he can, well, yeah, two squares. He can go here, in which case this will be a four. Or he can go here, in which case this will be a four. <clears throat> so he chooses this one, and now we fork. Knights are very good at doing that. Um, let's do 
two more. Queen here seems a simple fork. And we take the bishop. And this again seems like a one move fork. Attacking the king. And the rook is important that our bishop covers through. So if he plays here, he will not take this. And we take. Okay. Um, I hope you learned something from this. Next time I will do slightly harder puzzles where we have to think several moves ahead. But for now, we learned a number of useful concepts. I hope you learned something from this. Please like, please subscribe, and I will be back soon. Thank you.